thank you for being here today. Um, it was a fantastic experience to get to come compete here at Mississippi State in the NCAA tournament. Of course, the result's not what we wanted, but we are very proud of what this team has accomplished in back-to-back -back Sun Belt Conference championships and back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances. Um, I thought the game, uh, of course, we got behind the eight ball very soon. Um, Coach Schaefer changed his uh, starting lineup completely. I think he only started one regular starter. And uh, Blair came in and hit the shots at the beginning of the game. That really got us behind the eight ball. Um, we had planned a completely different game plan for the, for the regular starting five. She did a great job, settled down, and, and hit big shots. Um, so congratulations to her. Um, from there, uh, we did fight back for a while. I mean, we did fight back the whole game, but uh, Carissa Banks hit a nice shot. Caitlin Ramirez was doing some good things, but both of them got in foul trouble and went to the bench very early in foul trouble. Um, and then the other thing is um, when we realized the way we were going to have to play to, to catch up in that game, which would be shooting every seven seconds, shooting quickly, and then running rebounders in, one of our best players to, to play in that system is Jayla Chills, who got injured um, early on in the game. So uh, we lost to a very good team today. I very much hope they make it to the Final Four and all the way. First class program that we lost to today. But I think there were some factors that uh, caused the score to be as wide of a margin as it was. Okay, Adam, we'll start with you. Questions for the athletes? Uh, you guys, congratulations on a great season uh, for, for both of you. Uh, Coach referenced the different starting lineup. Uh, when you guys noticed that, uh, what was your reaction, and, and how, do you, how did you guys try to attack that? As um, soon as Coach Graff came in there and told us that they were changing up the lineup, that. It, nothing changed. We still were going to take it to them either way, and so we hung around there for a little bit, and um, we noticed that they ended up putting their five starters back in afterwards whenever they noticed that we were hanging around too much. and um, So we just knew that we had to take it to them either way. Um, I just feel like that um, he tried to throw something new at us so we, weren't, so we wouldn't be prepared for it, but we just played Troy, Troy Ball, and once we, like she said, once we got close, that's when he started um, putting the, all the starters back in. So. Yeah, this question is for Caitlin. Caitlin, rebound game has been really key for you guys down the stretch. Um, how physical are they down low? How much was your foul trouble early maybe causing you know, this, uh, them to um, maybe out, out rebound down the stretch? Um, you know, that they have you know big players on our team. They're, I mean, they're all bigger than us. So, I mean, but that's one thing that uh, we knew coming, coming into this game. We definitely had to be more physical with them. Um, I just wish we, me and myself also, that we should have been more physical with them. And, um, we, we just had to be able to box out. We we had times where we were down where we just didn't box out at all. And so that's just one thing. We just have to crash the boards harder. Um, uh, Clarissa, um, how exciting was it to have, you know, 40, 50 folks make the drive from Jackson to come see you? And just how did you feel like you performed out there today? Um, I felt like I did okay. I could have done better, but um, I was in early fire trouble. But it feels amazing for to have all them, uh, all my family members in the stand uh, for my last collegiate basketball game. Any more questions for the athletes? Okay, ladies, you're dismissed. Congrats on the great season. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So um, we were going, it's not, not a boxing one, but a, what do we call a 50 man-to-man uh, -man special where we were going to, you know, deny the ball to their best player. And we really worked on that a lot this week. And so when they went back to a different starting lineup, we got out of that special. If we knew Blair was going to come out and hit her first three or four shots, we would have stayed in it on her, but we had no way of knowing that. That's not in any scouting report. I don't think if anybody had that that, that was going to happen. So. So yeah, it, it changed what we were doing. We thought we had a very good game plan for the start of the game. We were gonna, we were prepared to fight really hard for the first two minutes to keep it close the first two minutes. But you know that that's what happened. They changed the starting lineup. The game plan changed. We should have kept the game plan the same. The question. Right here, 
the question was asked Caitlin about the rebounding. Were you, uh, you were rebounding well coming into this tournament and then to see 61 on the other side. What was that like? Well, we still got 23 offensive rebounds, and I would imagine that's more than most teams in the SEC got on them this year. So it's not like we weren't rebounding, but what happened a lot of times is we were getting tips on the ball. We kept tipping it back and forth with their post players, and it would end up in their hands because they're taller, and then when they would go back up, they would call a foul. It seemed like that happened over and over. So we don't get credit for those rebounds, but we were battling for those rebounds. You talked about, you know, at the end of the first quarter, things got pretty tight there, and then in the second quarter, I think State went on a 9-6 run. What, what went wrong in that second quarter? What kind of got away from y'all? Three things on our end. Caitlin Ramirez was on the bench in foul trouble. Carissa Banks was on the bench in foul trouble. And Jayla Chill was on the bench because her shoulder got displaced. So those three things on our end went wrong. But then again, you're playing Mississippi State. They're a very good basketball team. So you can't, you can't have that many things go wrong and stay in the game with a team like that. You know, we talked about you as a coach at Troy has taken a step further each year that you've been, you know, the head coach. Even though you lost today, do you uh, still think the team took a step forward in the right direction this year? Absolutely. Um, you know, it, every year we've been kind of standing on the shoulders of the, the year behind, the year before, and, uh, and improving every year. And, and um, still to this point, though, it seems like, well, well, we made that step. We know that we can go to a conference tournament and win it and win a championship within our conference. But that's kind of what is defining us now as Sunbelt Conference champions. Our next step is to get to the point where we're competitors in the NCAA tournament. So this is valuable experience to us to see what, what we didn't know, what we still need to do. Evidently, we still need to get a lot bigger. Evidently, we need people to, um, to make a lot more shots and a lot more pressure situations. It's hard to mimic that in the, in the Sunbelt's conference. It's hard to mimic their size and speed and um, you know what, what you have coming at you. But but we will figure it out. I mean, yes, it is another step. Another thing, all four of our freshmen got on the floor. One freshman came in in the end and I think scored 11 points in three minutes, Amber Rivers. So it's a win. that's a win for us. Um, you know, only one team in our conference got, got their freshman and sophomores experience on the floor today in an NCAA atmosphere like this. So it was a win for us. Coach, you know, part of the, the step forward may be getting out of that 14, 15, 16 seeding thing. So what Ooh. what ha what has to happen there? Well, I mean, that's kind of on me, and it's really on me because we lose too many games early to get seeded better. Uh, you know, the way we play, playing 15 people every night, um, it's hard to get 15 people playing on the same page early in the season. And I can look back at six, five or six losses that we took this year that we probably wouldn't have lost if I would have just said, you know what, I'm only going to play the seniors, we're going to play seven deep. Like most coaches play seven at the most eight people. If I would have made that decision early, I think we would have lost less games. However, I'm not sure we would have won the Sunbelt Conference Tournament because our depth won us that tournament. Coach, you were asked about the second quarter uh, for a team that likes to shoot the ball so quickly. Uh, to go through that long of a scoring drought, I think it actually went into the first minute and a half of the third quarter. Uh, what were you guys trying to do? To Were you trying to be more patient? Were no. you were trying to put more shots up in a shorter amount of time to get out of that rut? No. Again, our best three scorers were off the floor during that time. We didn't change anything during that time. We were still trying to get shots up. So our best three scorers and our best two rebounders were off the floor during that time. So the people that were going in and shooting them, we were finding anybody that was hot and there was nobody there really to, to dominate the rebound. So we didn't change anything in the second quarter, even though it looks like it. We didn't change anything in the second quarter. Uh, it's just a different group of personnel that, were, that was in there trying to get the job done.